cool. I think we're good. Um, Keegan, uh, obviously I see it's still nice and light there. Um, how are you doing over that side? Are you keeping okay? Yeah, I mean, it's been about three weeks now, so I'm quite used to being indoors. But yeah, just enjoying the sunsets at this hour. And yeah, um, there's nothing more to say, you know. You just have to take it each day as it comes and, I mean, enjoy your, your time at home. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is quite, like, obviously it's not ideal for you guys because you want to be on the pitch, you want to be playing football. But, I mean, is there, a, is there an element of uh, trying to find the positive in the situation in terms of the time that you do get to spend, you know, um, I know in your, in your case, you're not in South Africa, so it's not with all your family, but yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. taking that time to, to have a little bit of a break from the game. I think in some ways you can find positives out of the whole thing. I mean, if you're spending time with your family, like you said, if, if I was in South Africa, it would, it would have been perfect to, to, to be with family, you know, and just because as, as, as footballers, you, you're always traveling. So I think um, for the guys who are with their families, it's, it's a good time to spend with them. But also, like you said, we, we miss playing, you know, and it's, it's a bit difficult. But I think if you, if you set your mind and you know you think positive about the whole situation. I mean, you can watch your old videos. You can yeah. reflect and just you know be positive about the whole situation. Yeah, and and for you specifically, obviously, look, 2019 was a year that I'm sure you want to forget from a personal perspective. Um, you know, it was it was really tough for you in in terms of the injuries and in terms of um, yeah, yeah. The, the place where you were at. But I mean, does this, obviously this, this little gap in the season now, does this give you a little bit of a boost in terms of, um, I suppose, your chances to, to get back before this season finishes? Because now obviously there's a bit of time where you're not at risk of missing any games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I think it's, it's good and bad because I just got back from my, my knee injury. Hmm. So I started getting back to training, full fitness, playing with the reserve team. And then this happens whereby we're not playing, we're not training. But yeah. also, it's good for me because I was still playing with, with strap. I was still strapping every day, yeah. strapping my knee. So it also gives me enough time to fully heal. And then hopefully when I do go back, I'm, I'm in, in good shape and everything is is good to go you know yeah yeah definitely i mean just going back to to last year and look obviously you've you've stayed out of the media quite a lot um you haven't done you know too much uh, in terms of yeah, yeah, yeah. And where you're at and i know you got rid of your instagram account as well um where does that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. fit into to your i suppose your mental space when you have the kind of year that you had last year and um, especially with the kind of injuries you had you know it wasn't it wasn't like you were doing hammies and groins and stuff like that. It was all impact injuries that were essentially yeah. bad luck. How, how do you deal with that from a mental perspective? I think um, with the support structure I have, you know, for my family back at home, they call almost every third day. And obviously being with my fiance, she's always here to remind me that um, it's not all my fault. Yeah. You know, and I believe um, getting rid of the likes of Instagram and other social media just get my head clear yeah. of of thinking about myself and not worrying about what other people say. You know, so yeah. for me it was it was also a time to 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 reflect and you know just think on on ways to to to, to come out of this situation that I was in a better person you know, mm. and learn from all my, 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 my experiences. I mean, it was the first time since I started playing professional football that I went through a season like that, you know. Yeah. And I think it was just, there were a few, few days where I felt down and questioned why is it happening to me, you know. But then you also, you also talk to people and you let things out and, they, they give you a different view on the situation yeah. and you, you learn and you grow, you know. And now I think if anything like this would ever happen again, I'd know how to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, from, from your perspective, obviously you, there was a, a big thing when you, when you made the move to France, you know, given 
what's happened since. I mean, I know you haven't made the, the kind of impact that you yeah, would, yeah. would have helped to have done. Um, is there anything you think you'd do differently? Or do you think that you still made the right decisions when you made them and that this is just, uh, this, just the way that, that the football can be? Um, I think for me, I live life in the moment. I always say what, whatever is supposed to happen will happen. And I believe this, this is my path. You know, yeah. um, I've been privileged to, to play in the Club World Cup in lots of big tournaments in, in, in South Africa and with, with the national teams. And I believe um, being here now, it was always my path to, 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 to follow, you know. And yeah. I, don't, I don't think that I regret any decision I made. I mean, if, if it's meant for me to, to, to still be in, in Europe and still do big things, which I want to do personally, yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons why I, I'm not thinking of coming back to South Africa anytime soon because yeah. I feel like I still have a lot to prove this side. You know, just take it each day as it comes, and whatever happens, it's it's all in God's plan. Yeah, no, that makes sense, man. That's and look, ultimately, there, there is nothing to be gained by having regrets on and that kind of situation anyway. I mean, the, like you said, this was always the next step of your career. It was always the the way yeah. things were going to have to go. I mean, when you've won what you won in South Africa, th there was no real progression aside from, you know, taking the step that you've taken. Yeah. Um, I think that's, that has been me through, throughout my career since the School of Excellence days. You know, when you, when you sign for the School of Excellence, you have to sign a contract of five years, yeah. which is your, your, your high school um, career. Yeah, and I felt like I wasn't I wasn't growing at the school, mm. and that's the reason why I went to the Sundance Academy. But when I felt like I wasn't growing much there, and I felt like I needed a different opportunity, I needed a different place where I could grow. I went to Ajax Cape Town, you know. Yeah. And when I got there, I had good times. Um, I achieved things that I wanted to achieve. And I felt like it was time for me to move on. And that's why I moved to Sundowns for a new challenge. And I felt like in my, 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 I think it was 18 months that I spent with Sundowns, I felt like I achieved, I achieved what I wanted to achieve. And I felt like it was time for me to, to, to come to Europe and, and, you know, just try my best and love my dream that I always wanted to, to, to love when I was yeah. younger. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you're basically choosing, um, choosing things on um, when you feel like you've uh, reached the maximum growth potential you can in that opportunity, then you've got to find the next thing to, to take you forward. Exactly. And yeah. that's just how I live my life. I, I, I don't want to, you know, stay the same person, be it in, on the football field or be it in, 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 in life. I always want to grow. And I think I that's, that's the purpose of life. You need to you need to go out there and explore and experience different things so that you can share your knowledge with, with the young players coming up in South Africa. Yeah, no, definitely, mate. And on a, on a, on a lighter note, um, what, are you, uh, what are you doing to keep yourself busy? I know you're, uh, you, you like a little bit of your PlayStation and stuff. Um, what series are you watching? Like, how are you, how are you keeping yourself sane in this, uh, in this lockdown situation? Um, so we try to play a little board games here at home. Um, if not bad, uh, obviously watch Netflix. Um, I just watch, uh, started watching Ozark. Nice. And I'm quite, <laughs> I'm, I'm quite addicted to that right now. Yeah, wait but till yeah, you get I to the last is, season, mate. It's nuts. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is you watch one episode for one hour and then you look at the time, it's like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, no, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, that's what I basically do. I, I, follow the program that the team sends me um, whenever I do wake up, you know? Yeah. I do my, my, my program and then, you know, just um, try to keep busy, like you said, with a PlayStation or watching series. Yeah, yeah. And, and just, just lastly, um, I, I know I, I would say you were busy, but I know you're not busy in terms of places to be, but I know you've got things to be doing. Um, but just before I let you go, like, um, do you have a do you have a message for you know anybody back here? You know, I think your situation is 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 quite unique in the sense that 
you went over to Europe at, um, I wouldn't say at a, a young age, but you weren't, you know, old either. You were at yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Sort of quite middle ground. I mean, do you have any, any sort of, any advice for guys who are maybe they, they've kind of got worries that they're a little bit too old for the situation now, even though they're only 23, 24, 25? No, I mean, um, to be honest, sometimes in South Africa, people will, even when you're 23 or 24, they'll say you're not ready for Europe. Yeah. You know? But how do you know you're, re- you're not ready if you don't try your luck? Agreed. How do you get the experience of being in Europe if, you, if, you, if you're not ready until the age of 25? And when you do come here, you're playing with youngsters that are 17, 18. You get mm. what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I think that um, with the, the players in, in South Africa, they shouldn't listen to people telling them that they're not ready. Yeah. I believe we have the talent in South Africa to make it in Europe. And I think it's just about opportunity and, you know, listening to the proper people. Yeah, yeah. And just Definitely. following your dreams. That's all. Follow your dreams. Leave a mark for yourself. Live up to what you want to live to mm. be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't go after people. Just be you and follow your dreams. That's all. No, definitely, mate. Definitely, I uh, I completely agree. Um, but I'm gonna let you let you get going, mate. Um, get yourself back to Ozark because honestly, the latest the latest season is 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 mad. That's exactly um, <laughs> what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> but thanks very much for your time, dude, and and, and stay safe back right there. Keep on. Give your dogs a stroke for me. <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> Keep on, mate. Thanks for the chat. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers.